Wake up, Ace Town. We got work to do. It's 8.45, 8 to the end. So if you got to be there by 9, I'm going to say you're already late. What'd it do this morning, Ma? Hey, Cal. I'm chilling. Girl, I hate to shit on your good morning, but it's your girl, Felicia. Mm -mm, not on my only day off. What's wrong now? And what's all that noise? Uh, girl, we were about to go get some breakfast, but Black Ron's ass just came over here on some old bullshit. Mm-mm. If I was you, I'd let the police handle that shit. Come on, Eb. You know Black Ron's scared of you. Everybody know you don't play by that domestic violence shit. He wouldn't even came up in here if you was here. Can't you handle it? You a tough girl? Oh, well, I hurt my hand playing ball yesterday. Oh, so you basically telling me you useless right now, right? Both of y'all owe me. But I'm on my damn way. Bet. OK, I'm here, so let's do this. This is my only day off. All right, so what's wrong with your shit? You need some help? Nah, just, you know, staying fast, just in case. All right. Is that you? Yeah, I'm coming, Felicia. You okay in there? Ow! <laughs> this motherfucker hit me in the head with a pie. You enjoy giving this ass whooping. Call away, El. No, I don't even want to be bothered with my ex-husband today or any other day, really. Shit, I'm gonna call him then. Stupid motherfucker! What y'all bitches doing here? This shit is none of y'all's business. Oh, Felicia made it our business when she asked for our assistance. This motherfucker got my hand. Hey, fuck this up. What you want? Stop. 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 Everybody okay? Felicia, you all right? I'm getting brought along for now, but you coming to breakfast with us? Girl, you ain't going to no damn breakfast. You need to go to the dentist. Kyle, you know you were right. This guy has warrants. Several. You see? I knew it. So good morning, Christy Love. Oh, you got jokes now, huh? Just saying, I feel like we keep doing the same thing over and over again. Felicia's got to get her shit together and get rid of that fool. I, I think she got the message this time. And you and Cal are not the police. We're not trying to be the police. But if my peeps need me, I'm coming. Look at you. We not even married no more. And you still trying to tell me what to do. Well, every time I roll up to my crime scene, I got to remind you that you're an investigator of fraud, not crime. Fraud is crime. Thank you. Well, let me talk to my guys, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of my business. You are my business. Not anymore. Whatever. Sis, you're bleeding. Is that glass in your arm? You might want to put some peroxide on that, baby. Oh, I'm good, Miss Gunner. Thank you. Oh, nosy bitch. I can't, you. But I can't. Uh, I know I owe y'all. I mean, I owe both of y'all, especially you. But I mean, y'all my big sisters, and I love y'all. Y'all need to know. I love you, too. And yes, you do owe me. Especially since because it's, it's my your only day, day off. Yes. I get it, but uh, I, I promise, big sis, I'm through with this piece of shit. Mm -hmm. I'll leave that when I see it. For sure. 
But you know what? You can pay for breakfast since you uh, owe us and all. Yeah, okay. I can show you how to play the game, no console. Say your best man at me, just make sure you come and crafty and me sure you come correct. Never overstep, say it with his chest. What's the scene you do? She got some friends with her. Yeah, I do, and so now we on that brown liquor. Watch them lighters flicker. In the room, fuck up. Playing guests with Sam, my cup. She got the grab and bottle balls, make them cough. Kind of attitude, show you gratitude. Been this first and it's pleasure from the shutter that you owe. And I'm mad to collect my respect. Roll my check, bitch. Wake up, get my cake up. Up, wear my makeup, real shit, no faking, words mine and I'm going for the taking, I was down, down bad, I had to hustle, ain't got no time for no so feet, I had to bust it, I had to get it out the mud, flex the muscle, I had to knock them on out, I had to tussle, got some haters to the left that a check for the kid, cause ain't a soul out of love that could do what I did, they be hating on the kid, I love them, walk them all on out like Magellan, passion so damn fine, no telling, Life's lemon and they want what I'm selling. I heard your man's want the cake, he ain't iced me up. Guess what? Dumped his ass, now he blowing me up. And the body outside, they be showing me up. Now I'm in the room with a fence hook. In the zone, carry on my ass a big chop. Snakes moving and I'm sliding like a big hawk. Wake, wake up, get my cake up. Put my boss up, wear my makeup. Real shit, no faking. Words mine and I'm going for the taking. I was down, down bad, I had to hustle. Ain't got no time for no so feet, I had to bust it. I had to get it out the mud, flex the muscle. I had to knock them on out, I had to tussle. Ebony, how's the Lewis case coming? And good morning to you too, Mike. Why are you here? You do know today is my only day off, right? Yeah, yeah, all that. We close to closing that thing or what? Not really. I received it on Monday. Today is Wednesday. I just want to make sure we get our bonuses. Papa's got bills to pay, you know what I mean? And so does Mama, and? And we got to close this case by Friday. There's a bigger bonus for you if you do. How's that? This guy works for our biggest client, Amaga Construction, and they've been trying to can this guy for ages. Suddenly, he allegedly hurts his back while on the job and wants him to pay workman's comp while applying for disability. So maybe he did hurt himself, Mike? How many of these lazy assholes have tried to bleed their companies dry while following false claims? I mean, come on, Ebony. You know the drill. My job is to give you the juicy leads. Your job is to bust these bums in action. We get the big bonus bucks, everybody's happy. Me, you, Riser Insurance, everybody. Consider it done, Mike. And next time, call me, especially on my only day off. Please and thank you. Ah, if you know today is my damn day off. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, I guess a hard man is good to find. Mm, mm. Okay. Like I always say, if you're old enough to vote, you old enough to stroke. Oh, Deontay, baby, I will cast my vote at your polling place in its time. Oh. 
Okay, let's see. Mr. Gerald Lewis, 59 years young, widowed, been working at Amalda Construction for the past 28 years as a lead foreman with the rebar crew. Uh-huh. You sustained a serious back injury at work. Filed work in this cop claim back in February of this year. It's now December, and this is your third appeal. <laughs> Let's video chat later and you can show me what you're talking about. <laughs> Damn, lady! Scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry, Miss Ebony. I didn't mean to scare you. Do I know you, Miss? Glenda. Glenda Shaw. I live two houses down from Mr. Lewis. From who? Mr. Lewis, the man you've been taking pictures of for the past ten minutes. Well, ma'am, not that it's any of your business, but I'm working here. Well, as a neighborhood watch block captain, it is my business. And you ain't fooling nobody in that get up. I knew it was you from the car. So how can I help you, Miss Glenda? Well, I have a personal issue. It's my daughter, Nakia. She done ran off with this grown ass man. Uh-uh, you need to call the cops for that. I don't do missing children. Only insurance fraud. Hmm. And you spying on Mr. Lewis? Gerald is one of the nicest old men I know in the world. He wouldn't even hurt a fly. Sure wouldn't scam nobody. I'm sorry. I just can be really protective of him sometimes. What is that he tacking on the trees anyway? Oh, wow. I didn't know. Is this his daughter? It's his niece, Tabby. Tabby and my daughter, they best friends. Thing is, I know where my daughter is. Tabby been missing for the past three months. Were the girls together when they went missing? You know, they could have been, but I can't get in touch with Nakia to find out. She with that truth man. He's the devil. A false prophet. What truth man? That fake ass wannabe preacher, quote unquote, thug rapper. He be carrying on and Lord knows what else. You mean Caleb Truth? Mm-hmm. That devil. He got a perverse thing for young girls. How old is your daughter? My baby is 16 years old. She don't know her ass from a hole in the ground. But somehow he convinced her to be with him and there she went, off with him. Here, here's a picture. So you telling me a grown-ass man convinced your 16-year-old daughter to come and live with him and you ain't called the cops on his ass? No, you don't understand. I already been to the police and told them everything. They're not trying to help me. He famous. I'm nobody. I've been to the newspapers. They only want to talk about his upcoming gospel album. That's why I need you. You know how to take care of hood problems. You get shit done. What you mean I take care of hood problems? Like yesterday, when you and little old gay girl took care of Felicia's old man. <laughs> you know Felicia? Girl, yeah, everybody know her crazy ass. Me and her play cards. She do my hair sometimes. She good people. <laughs> Girl, she ain't got no good taste in men, though. You telling me, Miss <laughs> Glenda, and I'm her friend. Trust me. You know, so what can I do for you, Miss Linda? I need you to go out there and find my baby. And bring her back home where she belongs. I just want to know that she's okay. I know you can, Miss Ebony. Here. If you hear anything, where you can help find my baby, or you find her, just have a call me. I consider myself to be a God-fearing, able-bodied woman. I ain't never asked nobody for nothing. I ain't never needed help till now. 
Please help me. I can pool money together. Uh-uh, Miss uh -uh, Daniel, you keep your money. I got you. I'm going to refer you to this detective. No cops. I told you. They all in Caleb Troop's pocket. Even the good ones, it seems. No, I'm pretty sure Wayne is not. But, but I understand. Well, I know you're busy investigating, so I'll let you go. You have a blessed day, but don't forget about me, Miss Ebony. I won't, Miss Bunny, and you too. Hey, Mr. Mark. Hey, Ebony. You know there's different ways to see me, right? You don't got to keep sending these packages to my house. You can come over whenever you want. Now, Mr. Mark, if you want to bring my packages by, I ain't going to be mad at you. But I done told you 50 times that you're too old for me. Girl, please. We're about the same age. <laughs> hey, I got some of that bomb-made vodka that you like. How about you come over a little later? Have a little nightcap? <sighs> Mr. Mark. And I like my man much, much younger than you. Oh, baby, why you gotta do me like that? Oh, that's right, that's right. You're one of them cougars. You like them young bucks. Man, only thing those cats are good for is for fucking like jackrabbits all night. So, what's wrong with all night passion? Shit, nothing. I just gotta get to work in the morning. I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm real good once, at least. Mm. Uh. Okay, now he is just doing the most. I'm telling some boy, so is wrong. Boy, you a fool. Look, um, bye, Mr. Mark. All right, then. I'll let you get back to your thirsty little boyfriends. <laughs> Yo, Ev, I know you're leaving the suburbs and shit, but you need to lock your door. Anybody can walk up in here. Right. I, I live in the suburbs where people wait for an answer before coming into people's cribs because otherwise they get shot like that. <laughs> Who gonna shoot me? Mark? Yeah, that's my buddy. He just had a shot of vodka before I walked up here. That's the best y'all did. <laughs> you brought me dinner again? No, you know, I know you can't cook, so. Um, I don't cook. There is Don't no cook, can't cook, same damn thing to me. And since we didn't get to have breakfast yesterday because you wanted to walk off caking with that little cougar cub, <laughs> figured I'd treat you to a little dinner. Look, do you know what I'm saying? Girl, I'm trying to make him my new boy toy. But he tripping. I'm talking about sending him some nudes. He got to wait and appreciate just like everybody else. <laughs> he fine as hell though, girl. You want to see his picture? Nope. I'm good. <laughs> look, look, look. His dick bigger than yours. Oh, so we comparing dick pics now? Well, shit, I got wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. He's a multi-gold and platinum selling artist, both in the hardcore world of gangster rap and Christian gospel rap. He's a newly ordained pastor at the soon-to-be-built million-dollar megachurch, the First Truth Fellowship, and now a best-selling author. Here to talk about everything in his new book, The Audacity of Truth. Please wait, did Washington you hear that? Undisputed. They said Caleb Truth wrote a book. I ain't even think this fool could read. Yeah, man, that's my dog. Yo, I'm, I'm really digging that new gospel single he put out called Church. Church? Yeah, but you gotta say it like Church without the R. Mm -mm. I can't, I can't, I, I can't with him. But I had an interesting conversation today with this lady about this fool. Uh-uh, yeah. Caleb Truth really is the truth. You should hear about all that stuff he went through and that was before he went to prison for five years. What did he go to prison for? Strong arm robbery and uh, kidnapping one of his eight baby mamas. Damn! Yep. Then he went to prison, somehow found God, and came out a preacher. He still rapping about the streets and all that, but yo, he keep it real in the name of God, man. Does he now? Please, mama. Answer the phone, please. Dear God, please, mama, answer. Look here, in the name of God, I smash you through this wall real hard. You heard? Who you call him anyway, the king? I'm 
sorry, Caleb. I just, I didn't mean nothing. I, I just miss my mom. Keep crying. And on your mama and mine, you gonna end up like your girl. Down on all fours and out of time, you heard? Do you really love, believe, and trust me? I mean, are you loyal enough for the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth? So help you? Me? Yes. Yes what? Yes, God Daddy. multi-gold and platinum selling artist, both in the hardcore world of gangster rap and Christian gospel rap. He's a newly ordained pastor at the soon-to-be-built million-dollar megachurch, the First Truth Fellowship, and now a best-selling author. Here to talk about everything in his new book, The Audacity of Truth, please welcome to the Vonda Watkins Show, the undisputed Caleb Truth. Wow, as you would say, looky here, right? I see that no matter where you go, the people love you, Caleb, right? That's right. Look at here, Vonda. The people love the God in me, and I love them back wholeheartedly. Negro, please. That's blasphemy. So as you discuss in your book, The Audacity of Truth, tell me about the exact moment that made you change your lifestyle from all of the sex, drugs, and violence you craved in your gangster rap persona and become a pastor. Look here, Vonda. I grew up hard on the streets. It was four of us brothers. We ain't never have enough to eat. See, my mama was a hooker and my daddy was a fiend. I started slaying bags of reefer by the age of 13. By the time I hit my 20s, I was popping pills with Henry. Still stacking on my paper flying and waiting from Jamaica. Caught my first case on my 22nd birthday. In the pen, I got in with some gangsters out of LA. My nigga Tom Capone and his cousin Fulio hit me to the rap game and made myself a studio. Ugh, if he says, looky here, Vonda, one more time. <laughs> hey, okay, I'm good on this ghetto Dr. Seuss. I'm going to my room to set this new cub straight. Because <laughs> he's getting a bit too pushy. Man, quit hating, Ev. I told you this man the truth. The truth will set you free, Ev. No, Cal, the truth will set you up. <laughs> this fool is the lie and the truth ain't in him. Man, bye. Whatever, move. I see I'm gonna have to break down my rules to you, but let's video chat because it's too much to text. Uh, hey, sexy lady. Okay, little baby. Let me explain this, okay? So you don't Get it twisted while we talking, okay? Well, like a lady that gets down to this. First cougar commandment. Let's be honest while we're here, okay? Dick loves pussy. Pussy loves dick. We each have the counterpart. Moving on. Second, keep your cool. I'm talking about cooler than Sammy Davis Jr. sipping a slushy in Siberia cool. Who? Cooler than Snoop Dogg then. <laughs> All right. Now, number three. Elle, come quick. <sighs> number three, I don't come quick. I come hard. Hold on. Girl, I'm on the phone. My bad. My homegirl keeps bothering me about some bullshit on the Vonda show. You talking about the Kayla Truth interview? I'm watching it too. Why? That guy is a whole clown. Like, why does he rhyme everything? That would get on my nerves real quick. <laughs> That's just his theme, huh? He reaches a lot of people with his music, me included. Matter of fact, I got my meet and greet VIP this weekend. <laughs> hmm. Well, why don't you give me a ticket too and I'll be your escort for the evening. <laughs> Do I get a happy ending with your services? Well, that's totally up to you. Ooh, you know I would, Ma. But tickets sold out about an hour after I got mine. I mean, 
How about you come back afterwards? Hell, you gonna be at the eye gallery on? Oh, never mind. It's invite on. Once again, I apologize for the interruptions. Like I was saying. You were saying I get to see that sexy grown ass woman body on top of mine tomorrow night? Uh, no, I wasn't. Which brings me to number four. Quit being so damn pushy. If it's meant for you, you'll get it. And stop asking me for nudes. Ladies don't like that. Everybody does that. Ladies too. You need to let me dust them granny panties off so you won't be so feisty. You saw that shower pic I sent you? All right. Don't mm. let your mouth write a check your ass can't cash. Ooh, you are so sexy when you're fussing. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. Ew! <sighs> okay, look. I'm gonna have to call you back. Okay. You better call me back. I get crazy when I'm ignored. Okay, I will. Bye. <sighs> Girl! <gasps> What kind of actual hell do you want, girl? Man, don't you know somebody who can get us in that kind of true party? No, I don't, and I wouldn't go to that. <laughs> hey! Get to work in the Caleb Truth party tomorrow night at the gallery. Man, how you gonna call him and brag about something we all can't go to? I'm only going because my job is catering the event. That, and to meet my future ex-husband. Girl, this event gonna be lit. Wait. Can you get us tickets? Nobody can get tickets, girl. They sold out. You know what? Let me make a phone call and I'll hit you back. Psst, bet. Man, if we can get in that spot, G. <sighs> you know what? Deontay said he was going to that. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Rewind that, rewind that. It's live TV, G. I can't. <sighs> I know that girl. Oh, the dreamy eye one they just showed drooling over Caleb. That's Miss Glenda's daughter, Nakia. Who's Miss Glenda? This lady I met today while I was at work. She said that Caleb had her daughter under his spell or something like that. She been trying to call her and she not answering. <laughs> well, there she is on national TV looking stuck. <laughs> Cal, she's only 16 years old and he a grown man. You don't see nothing wrong with that? Ew, I know you ain't that naive. That little girl probably fast as hell and no more than me and you put together. And we worked at a strip club. If she want to be grown, shit, let her. She'll find out what to do sooner or later. Cal, that don't make it right. It ain't right or wrong, yep. It's just life. What up? Look, y'all, I'm on break, so real quick. I got good news and bad. Good news is, I got y'all in this spot tomorrow night. Bad news is, like, y'all got to work the catering crew. Oh, hell no. It's the only way I could do it, Ebony. Dang. My boss Jorge cool as hell, though. But he said he can't pay y'all. But whatever you making tips, you keep. No, hell no. Because I ain't no waitress. It's the only way we can go, Eb. Come on. You even said it yourself. Who would pay to go there? This way we ain't got to pay. They paying us to be there. Okay. I guess. All right, cool. Y'all just wear a white shirt, black pants, and sensible shoes. Oh, and be there by 6.45. The fun starts at 7. I know this. See? <laughs> I didn't tell Jorge about hiring his no-English-speaking cousins. Hey, Louis, you about to lose your jabo, comprende, muchacho? Well, look, y'all, my break's over, so I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Oh, this is gonna be like old times. Us all working together again. <laughs> yeah, except y'all ain't working the polls, and I ain't working the dope. Thank you, boo. We appreciate you. My <laughs> kisses. <laughs> oh, boy. She crazy. Look. So, don't tell her I'm planning on working, because you know I'm on a mission, right? Eb, you know you can work any room we walk into. And, and what she mean by sensible shoes? Not those. Hey, Miss Glenda, it's Ebony. Oh, hi, baby. Everything good? Yes, ma'am. I'm just calling to give you a heads up to let you know I saw Nakia on TV last night. I know. The whole neighborhood been talking about it. At least I know she's okay. I'm on my way to Caleb's Truth. 
book signing party. No promises, but I'll let you know what I find out. Thank you, Miss Ebony. Anything would be greatly appreciated. Be safe and have a good night. You too, Miss Glenda. Just make sure you get that out. Hey y'all. Uh, now I know I told this bitch <laughs> sensible shoes. Girl, these are my uh, sensible shoes. I got them on sale. As a matter of fact. Yeah, I mean like flats or black sneakers. Them gonna hurt. Girl, you know I don't wear no flats or no gym shoes. Only K Hamptons or nothing at all. <laughs> Gym shoe? <laughs> from the 80s, ain't it? Uh, so, like I was saying before, Cleopatra Jones strolled up. All right, we having mahi mahi wraps, all right, barbecue meatballs, grilled chicken, and stuffed gouda mushrooms. All right, that's it. No real food. All the drinks are non alcoholic. You know, like water, coffee, pop, all that shit. <laughs> and all that shit. Pop? Seriously? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where you guys from? We from fresh off a smart mouth ass and you making me homesick. Well, you better shut up and have some respect for your elders. Yeah, yeah. Wrong for business. Wrong with some shit. I want your old uh, ass anyway. You probably would have had a chance if you have played the card. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. right. So, yeah. look. So, uh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I see you went to the dentist. You got the go too. You know, it was on sale. Y'all know I couldn't resist. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, I'm Jorge, the catering mm. manager. Mm -hmm. I'm sure my girl Pete told you about tonight's menu mm -hmm. and drink choices. We are serving food until it runs out. So if they eat it up too fast, tough shit, yeah? Mm -hmm. algunas preguntas? Question. Oh, I have a question. Who are you, mamacita? And why don't I have your phone number already? Oh my gosh, okay, keep it in your pants, Greedy Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. This is my big sister, Ebony. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it, Felicia, I got this. <laughs> Mi chocha vene oliva. No puedo dejar eh? De puta, puedes comprar ese? Hot damn, girl! You can have my whole paycheck! Woo -hoo. <sighs> okay, una ultima cosa antes de empezar. Do not touch the art. Do not ask Mr. Truth for an autograph unless you buy the book. He's very, very temperamental. So let's avoid pissing him and his bodyguards off. Okay? Also, compartimos todas las propinas. So everybody put their tips in that big uh, cubeta de hielo under the register. I'm watching you guys. Any problems can get me or feed? Uh uh, don't come get me. I'm working too, shit. Remember, guys, have fun. See. Are you okay? Running makeup is not good for anyone, trust me. Who are you? I'm Ebony, and you? So? Look, I don't want any trouble. I just figured whatever's wrong is not that bad that we don't want to talk about it. Are you drunk? Because there's no alcohol. Do you know me, lady? Damn, I'm all up in my business. Go serve something. Get out of my face, okay? Look, you don't know me. But I see that black guy you trying to hide. And I see your young ass can't handle your liquor. 
And I know that Miss Blenda is fucking worried sick about your ass. And you out here messing around with a fake ass wannabe preacher and praying on little girls. Wait. Did Mama send you here to come and get me? Because you can tell her I ain't going home. I'm sorry, but y'all just don't understand. Well, make me understand. You know, I wish my life could go back to normal. I really do miss Mama and I want to go home, but you don't get along that good. And I know she means well, but her method? Smothering. Baby, that smothering you feel, that's just love. Nah, you don't know Glenda like I do. She be doing the most. That's half the reason I left the other half is because Tabby. Wait, Nikia, where is Tabby? You know Tabby? I, I can't. God Daddy said you don't talk about that. God Daddy? Who is your God Daddy? Caleb? That's what we call him. This fool is off the chain and crazy. Nakia, how did you and Tabby even get to this point? I don't know. Met him at a concert three months ago. Tabby won some tickets on the radio and got packed stage passes. Next thing you know, we're on a private plane in Miami and staying in one of got Caleb's houses for the week. It was fun, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -mm. Wait a minute, so you trying to tell me y'all took y'all young ass on a plane with a grown ass man for a week to Miami? And Miss Glenda ain't bust your ass when you got back? We never went back. Nakia, that is kidnapping. I gotta call the police. No, no, no. It's only kidnapping if we were held against our will. That's what Caleb said. We wanted to be there, but then... But then what? I can't... No, no. Look. Nakia, if Caleb did anything to you and your friend, you gotta tell somebody. You cannot let him get away with this bullshit. Miss Ebony, I don't want him to get in trouble. I can't leave. Here. I love him. Baby, that's not love. That's fear. That's fear. You can leave him. And I hope you. No, you can't. Nobody leaves God, Daddy. Tabby tried. <laughs> and, okay, look, 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 wait. Right here. Here's my car. I'm not gonna push you to do anything. When you're ready to go, you call me, okay? And I'll help you. Tell my mama that I'm okay. That I love her. Miss the truth? I'd like to try some of my salmon wraps? Everyone says they're delicious. No, but thank you, boo. But you don't like fish? <laughs> nah, fish is my favorite dish. But I like mine fresh, not old, no dish. But maybe one of them might bite that old snapper. They might be older than me, but not quite as dapper. Oh, Mm. You taste this good? <laughs> I'm not fish. I'm a woman. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you like a sexy ass cougar. Nah. Like a sexy ass panther to me. Yeah, you is banging, girl. <laughs> What's your name? I'm a little duh. Mm -hmm. You? Just sexy ass? I'm Ebony. Yes. You are. So you pretty close to Caleb, huh? Hell yeah. Like his right hand man. Oh, he trusts you like that? Sure do. Hmm. I mean, we done pull off all sorts of cables. 
It's churchy shit? Yeah, I don't know. What's your name? Well, I know we all gotta grow up and cut out the bullshit eventually, but it's like he went crazy when he was in prison. Something happened to him. He won't tell nobody what it is. That's deep, baby. But maybe he really did find God. I don't know, he found something. Ain't the guy that I know. Believe that. But it's my man. I don't judge nobody. Y'all done done some grimy shit. I hate But, um, I see my girl. I, I gotta talk to her about something. She's taking my number. Yeah, I'm gonna take you. Now, now. Good things come to those who wait. Well, I can wait. Yeah. Look, come back inside before they miss you. Shit, they can wait. I won't be with you. Look, let me go and put my number in here. Here. Now go, boy. Bye, little dub. Bye, Evan. Hey, yo, Ev. How about Caleb offer me a job? A job doing what? I'm going to be his valet. I get the keys to the person to call tomorrow, G. When this happened? After his performance, he said he liked my energy, gave me three stacks, and asked me to join his crew as his valet. So he gave you $3,000 just like that? Just like that. Hmm. Maybe you can help me get the key out of there. What? Nah, I ain't touching that. Come on, Cal. Belong there. But Ev, that ain't my business. I'm trying to get paid. And obviously, she wants to be there. What girl wouldn't? I mean, it's Caleb Truth. Shoot, if I was straight, I'd be on it too. Uh, there's plenty of girls that wouldn't want to be abused by some sick perp using his clout to control and manipulate them. You tripping. No, you tripping. I can't believe that you even took this job from this creep. Why are you hating so hard on Caleb? It's not like I'm about to marry the dude. Damn, it's just a job, Ev. I can't believe you sold your soul for some money. What? <laughs> hey, gee, I don't know where all this hate is coming from, but I got to get up and meet Caleb at his crib at 6 a.m. I'll holler. Cal. You take this job, don't even bother. Yeah. Oh, I it's said, like that? Yeah, it's like after, that. After everything, it's like that? It's like that. All right, well, fuck it then. No, fuck you, No, Ed. fuck you, No, Ed. fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Mm -mm. Deontay got some nerve. Let me set his young ass straight right now. Yo, what's up? You reached Deontay. Leave me a message. I'll get back with you. Okay, so you really need to quit playing games. You could have gave me that damn ticket, because I know for a fact you wasn't there last night. So you need to get your lies together, honey. Because this is a grown-ass woman. Hello. Good morning, mama. Good morning, little dad. Still sexy. I think about you all night. Oh, yeah? Good thoughts out. Some good and some... Real nasty. But they was good, though. Oh, really now? I was thinking about grabbing a little grub this morning. How about me and you have a little breakfast in bed? See where this day takes us. Hmm. 
But that sounds enticing. Who bed are we breakfasting in? What you mean? I'll be in my bed. Got this California king. So comfy, you know, ever gonna wanna leave. And where you stay? Stay at the crib. At your mama house? Nah, nah. It's Kayla's crib. Um, okay. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, yeah. This place is like a palace. I can't wait to show you around. Oh, and I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna go get fresh and clean real quick. And then I'm gonna come scoop you in about an hour. Cool? Um, yeah, I'm down. But can I meet you there? All right, sexy. I'm gonna go scoop the grub. And then I'll text your address. See you soon, all right? Okay, folks. See you. Ow. <sighs> yep, just what I need. Sleeping pills. <sighs> I ain't even let you hit it yet. Look how you acting. <laughs> That's a damn shame. Good morning. Hey, I wasn't expecting you to respond so fast. Kind of felt like you've been ignoring me. No, I've just been super busy with this work case. I was going to call you this weekend. Hey, what do you know about Caleb Troop? Oh, not, not a whole lot. Um, he's got a new gospel album, and it's not as blasphemous as I thought it was going to be, but uh, he's got some nice tracks on there. No, I mean... What have you heard about him? Like, what nefarious shit is he into? Uh, to be honest, Ebony, I really haven't heard anything about him since he got out of prison. He seems to be on the up and up with this new church that he's building. Uh, I heard he's been working with the mayor trying to start some youth programs. Youth programs? Huh? Yeah, he's donated money to schools, some other churches, and even to the police fund. Yeah, anything to keep the masses blind to the bullshit. Wayne? I know for sure that this is not a good guy. I can't tell you all the details, but just trust me on this one. See, there you go. There I go what? I'm serious. This dude is, is, is bad news. Every time you don't like the answer or you don't get the answer you want, you have to create some new ones instead of just letting things happen the way they're supposed to happen. What does that even mean, Wayne? Okay, like with this alleged information you have on Caleb Truth, I mean, the guy seems like he's at least trying to do better with his life, but here you come, you don't agree with his lifestyle or his message, and you create your own idea of him. And that, from my experience, is usually wrong. That's not true, Wayne. I give everybody the benefit of the doubt until proven otherwise. Oh yeah? Like you gave our marriage the benefit of the doubt when you accused me of cheating and it was you all along? What are you talking about? We got a divorce because you made detective and you were spending all those hours with your female partner. I mean, at the time, I may have been a bit jealous because you spent more time with her than you did with me. You was never there for me. But somebody was there, right? You never gave me the benefit, even though I was busting my ass in overtime so you didn't have to work at that club anymore. And I told you that Kathy was married with four kids. But that didn't matter to you. I lost the love of my life, and you lost another man's baby. And that's the real reason we got divorced, isn't it? Wow, I, I mean, wow, I didn't know you knew that. It's my job to detect when something isn't right. I know when you're not being right with me. And as your friend, I don't have that worry on me. We don't have an intimate connection anymore. You don't? I know I moved on. I had to. Later on, after we broke up, I realized there were things I could never give you the way I really wanted to. Like, first was a family, and then second was, you know, my time. I mean, we discussed having kids and all of that. Yeah, but realistically, it would have been a mistake. You'd have been miserable all along with those kids because of my schedule. You know, sometimes I think you cheating on me saved us. From what? 
from becoming enemies. At least now we're still friends and in each other's lives, but in a good way, most of the time. But we'll always be friends, right? I hope so. Okay, look, um, I'm on a mission this morning, so uh, I'll call you back, okay? Oh, I see, one of your little play dates, huh? You know, I saw you with that boy you're flirting with over at Felicia's. Oh, he crazy. I'm gonna have to put him on ice for a minute. Whatever, just call me when you're done with your so-called mission. I will, huh? And Wayne? Yeah? We would've had a beautiful family. I know, Mommy, I know. Kiss make me shiver like that. I can't imagine what that thing did. Don't you want to eat first before the food gets gone? That's what they make microwaves for. Uh. Got all these eggs, sausage, bacon, toasted. No jelly. We got pancakes too? Come on, go and eat it. I don't eat pancakes too many car time. I like toast actually. Back and see if I can find something else. Thanks, honey. That would be so sweet. Way back for that food to come. Believe that. Goods, huh? Oh, that'll be good. You know what would go good with this orange juice? What's that? Some vodka. Yeah, I like mm. your style, baby. Got some just top shelf right there. Okay. Yeah. See it? Mm. Let's get you right. Pour you up. Not too much, not too much. I don't know about you. I'm about to get loose. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Ah. Woo. Mm. Woo. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Mm. Woo. I think I can fall in love with you. Mm-mm. <laughs> Slow down, Tiger. You never heard of love at first sight? I don't believe in fairy tales. I live in the real world. Besides, I don't even know your real name. I know your mama ain't named you Luda. <laughs> nah, my mama named me Damien Lavelli. You see, my daddy was half Italian. But keep down the lawn and tell everybody my government like that. <laughs> that would explain your nice hair. <laughs> No. Anyone else here? Mm -hmm. We're alone, but we're alone alone. 
Ain't nobody coming in here. That's what you're worried about. Caleb, is he right? Nah. Him and that gay girl, they left this morning to run some errands. But some security guards running around here. They in their rooms. Probably with a couple of the females. Ain't no telling. Mm, okay. Mm. You know, come over here and let me see what that badass body do. I swear for Lord, you got all those Leon Hoes beat. Shit. Okay, um, I will. You just gotta be patient. I need to use the bathroom first. Well, you are in luck. I got one right in here. Oh, okay. Damn it. Damn it.
thank me, well, you can thank me when we get out of here. Come on, let's go. Uh-uh, you cannot take those bags. But these are all my clothes and shoes. Girl, you can be the flyest corpse, or you can live to shop another day. Let's go. Dang, you have to say it like that. Can I at least take my Katie Hampton? I love these shoes. Can you run in those? Yes. Well, let's go. Shit. Thanks for the lift, Cal. Here's a little gift, pal. Thanks, Caleb. Little Dub must have some company, because that little coop don't belong to me. Thanks for hooking me up, Tip. For you, I got a special gift. A special gift for you, God damn I wonder what that could be. You gonna find out real soon. Cal, I'm gonna be busy till the afternoon. All right, what you want me to do so then? Go for a swim, shoot some hoops in the gym. Just don't take a break, nothing, and you'll fit right in. All right, bet. I was gonna rescue her with or without you. Uh, how'd y'all even get in the house? No duh, but that's not important. Shit, girl, if Caleb catches us, it's curtains for everybody. And okay, well, move out the way. He's out go. Yeah. Right now with some girl. Uh, what girl? Bitch, he brought another girl to the crib? Yes. They're out in front right now, man. Y'all wait right here a minute. Shit. Bitch, you worried about the wrong thing. Say, baby, why don't you go inside and have a seat? I'll be back in a heartbeat. Thought it would be that easy to leave, man. Please, Caleb, let me go. You wanna go like Tabby did? Cause that's the only way out of here, kid. Looky here. What do you know? It's the old sniper from the gallery show. Who brought this bitch to my house? I said, who brought this bitch to my house? What's up? I don't know. I haven't seen him all morning. Go find dog. Don't waste the time. Tell that nigga his ass is mine. Wait a minute! Ain't this your peeps? Yeah, but we, we fell out when I took this job. I swear to God, I ain't bring her here. I promise I ain't no Caleb. Please. Oh. Damn, is he? Is he dead? What you mean, is he dead? Can't you hear him breathing like a goddamn polar bear? Fuck your ass up, Doug. What, motherfucker? Well, wake his ass up! No, fuck that! Come down here and get this shit off my grass! Check your car and tie their ass up in the garage! I'm about to torture their ass! Come on! Oh shit, I don't know. But I did find old girl purse and the gun and some sleeping pills and this. Y'all take y'all bitches home. Take Tim too. I need to be alone. Okay, whatever you say, Tim. Oh. 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 Anyway, 
I found your gun and them little sleepy pills. You about to start explaining for this shit get too fucking real. You screaming? I'm gonna have to get me. <laughs> Caleb, let the kid go. He's just a kid. <laughs> just a kid? Mm -hmm. You should see some of the things this ass done did. <laughs> you won't get away with this shit. You're gonna be looking for me. My ex husband, the ex cop. And you should be scared. Well, you put rides with scared. Shut <laughs> up! You gonna die if you don't tell me why! You came to my crib and drugged my guy. He was only supposed to be collateral damage. But he did. Buy me a birthday sandwich, you sick fuck! It's gonna be so nice! Have your head on my altar as a sacrifice! Come on, this is Yeah, baby. Yeah, busted. Bam, baby, you busted in your head. You lucky it wasn't me, cause I'd have filled your ass with lead. You sick fuck. What the hell's going on? He tried to kill us. Gotta hurry, come on, come on. We have to get him, we gotta go. Come on, come on. Everybody is home, but they'll be back. You finish the job, come on, come on, come on, baby, wake up, come on. We gotta go, we gotta go. I just have to get this off my chest before I get home. It was crazy. Tabby was getting tired of not being able to call her mom and Uncle Gerald and decided that she was leaving. We planned on going together, but I was in the room with Caleb when she tried sneaking out. They found her trying to climb the back gate and Caleb shot her in the back right as she climbed to the top. Tabby was still alive. But they dragged her in the garage and I never saw her again. She was my best friend. Before we met yesterday, Miss Ebony, Caleb beat me up and threatened to kill me if I didn't keep quiet. So I got drunk to deal with it. I couldn't call nobody because he took my phone, but I got lucky today and broke into the locked drawer next to his bed while he was gone. You were the first person I called because I knew you would come and get me. I don't know why, I just did. Why didn't you call the police? I know this sounds crazy, but I didn't want Caleb to get mad at me. And I was scared that he would kill me before they got a chance to get to the house. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. We're all going home now. Deontay, what are you doing in my house?
Oh, it's pretty good. You got good taste. <laughs> Tell me why have you been ignoring me? Hmm? It wasn't intentional. I've just been busy with work. Yeah? Well, that's what they all say. <laughs> Too busy to call? Too busy to text? Take care of it now. Why don't I put on some new music? Huh? Get off of me! Get off! <laughs> Why, Deontay? Why? Oh. Ebony? You home? It's a little leg to be shy now. I'm not shy, Mark. I just... I've never seen you like this before. Well, i never seen you like that. Damn, Ebony. What happened to your neck? That piece of shit do that? No. Just somebody else did. Girl, I have no idea what you're doing when you leave that driveway. It's gonna be some pretty damn exciting stuff. I'm just glad you make it home every night. Shit. You and me both. Say, wanna have a drink? I'll drink yours if you don't. I'm gonna have to say yes. Uh, real strong when I might have. After the day that I had, I need it. Okay. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> this is really good and strong. Yeah, like me. Yeah, like you. You should have been on that. Me can't handle the sexual shenanigans that you're used to. Sexual shenanigans? <laughs> really? Really? That's probably why you like them boys so young. Well, you know what I always say. You're old enough to vote. And you're old enough to stroke. Oh, hey. Come on, girl. I think the only pimp on the block. That's my line, girl. <laughs> uh oh. Mark, you know I prefer younger men. Because they're easy to manipulate? Oh. They make me feel young. Evan, age is just a number. It only matters if you make it matter. If you feel old, that's on you. Look, girl, you look damn good for your age. Be proud. No, I look damn good for your age. But Mark, so do you. I mean, you're so strong and gotta admit, kinda turn me on watching you, Tiger. Girl, you better watch yourself. It's a new beginning. New beginnings. I'll drink to that. Just tell me, Ebony. Was that that boy's car whose ass I just kicked? Nope. Hello. 
Ebony, I don't know what the hell you've been doing the last few days, but today is the deadline on that Lewis case. Where are you on that? Mike, it's fucking 6.47 in the morning. You better be dead or dying, but still... Yeah, well, Toots, early bird gets the worms. Speaking of worms, Mike, you're a real piece of shit. You know that? Tell me something I don't know. You sound like my ex-wife. God, fuck her! I closed that case day before yesterday. I didn't see anything wrong other than some poor old man who's doing the best he can, how he can. He's actually disabled and needs his claim to go through. And that's what I did. Listen, I'm the boss, not you. And if you don't find him guilty of something today, I'm gonna have my cousin do your job for half of what I pay you. I need that extra two grand bonus in my account by five o'clock today, or I'm gonna can your ass. I tell you what, I quit, asshole. I will be my own damn boss. And don't ever call me again. I'll have my new man come and kick your pasty, fat ass. Got it? Okay, Miss Ebony Hustle. So I'm your new man now, huh? I just said that so he can leave me alone. I was about to say, I ain't young enough. Nope, but you're still a man. <laughs> All day, every day. <laughs> but I gotta get to work. Well, thanks for everything. Yeah. Have a good day at work. You too. I mean, good luck finding another job. But still, happy day. Hello, is this Miss Ebony? Uh, yes it is, and who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm Maggie Matthews. I got your number from Glenda Shaw, but I've been hearing about you and how you took down that evil rapper's whole organization by yourself. Well, not, not really, but thank you. How can I help you? I need your help finding my son. Well, ma'am, I'm, I'm not the police. I don't want no police. I want action and results. That's why I called you, especially after you helped little Nakia. Can, can I think about this and call you back at this number? Sure, honey. I can pay for your expenses up to $10,000 if that helps you make a decision. I'll look forward to hearing from you soon. You have a good day, Miss Matt. Ebony, there are no words to express the heartfelt joy and love that I honestly have for you. And I'm so grateful for your assistance with bringing Nakia back home where she belongs. I hope you don't mind that I've branded you my personal hero, and I've been telling any and everyone about your big heart and fearlessness. Nakia is totally enamored with you and tells everybody that you're her big sister. And although we just found out, she plans on naming my first grandbaby after you and Tabby, Tabitha Ebony Shaw, once she arrives in May. I hope you don't mind. I took up a little donation in the neighborhood to pay for your services and tossed in a little extra just because. Please stay safe and come visit us soon. 
Or maybe we'll meet again when Felicia tosses somebody else through the door. We truly do love and miss you. Best wishes, Glenda and Nakia Shaw. Oh, hey. Evening to you. Hey. Yeah, I'm good. How about you, Mr. Mark? Ah, uh, you know me. Another day, another dollar. Make you want to scream and holler. Oh, no, not you too. What do you mean? <laughs> you sound like Caleb Troop's ass. Girl, please, don't compare me to that chump. I can't stand his ass. Ah, uh, finally. Somebody that hates his ass just as much as I do. Want a nightcap? Or are you too busy with your boy toys? Nah, I could really use a nightcap. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, Mr. Mark. What's good, Hey. You okay? How you doing? Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm much better. Especially after my little stay, <laughs> let me tell you. Oh. Ain't nothing like being taken care of by a fine sister, boy. Are you serious? Let me, let me, let me show you, though, real quick. Let me show you, look. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's, that's your new boo. Girl, look, you're a mess. I can't hang with you. I cannot with you. Speaking of boo things. Guess who I saw on my way over here? Yeah, Guess who? who a couple? Oh, the girl Felicia and Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you lie. I'm serious. They're a couple. Oh, I don't, so I don't know about that. I mean, shit. But you know what though? What? I guess anything's better than Black Ron's ass. For real. Yeah. For real. Girl, crazy ass Deontay. Who, Cougar Cup? Yes. What about yes. his ass? Girl, he broke into my house. What? Yes. Mark beat his ass. He saved my life. Beat his ass. Are uh, you okay? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, you know me. <laughs> I'm always good. But. But what? I mean, uh, shit. What? By the time you done came to your senses. No. Always like Mark for you. No, oh, no, shit. no, no. <laughs> he saved my life. He looked damn good doing it. But mm, I bet. No. For real though, I'm sorry about what I said at the art gallery. He go that much. She said, who cares about that shit right now? The important thing is we still girls, right? Yeah. Good. You know, you, you saved my life. Yeah. 
So I owe you mine and more. You don't owe me nothing, Cal. But I do owe you a sincere apology. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry what I brought to you. Let's look at it this way. None of that shit wouldn't have went down. I wouldn't have been able to meet my little boo thing right here. You know what? <laughs> I can't with you. You a mess, you know that, right? Well, well, well. If it isn't Thelma and Louise. What's up, Wayne? <laughs> but yo, we still alive, though. I mean, by the looks of it, barely. Uh, Wayne, yes, you not start. I haven't had my coffee yet. Girl, I never know when to start with you, ever. But, uh, you seen the news? What? <laughs> oh, boy. It? Check it out. What? Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, Ebony, <gasps> I, I have no idea how you managed to leave all your personal belongings behind and still not get more involved than you already are. My purse, my key, my phone. Damn. It's all at the house. No, it's not. I took care of that for you. Yeah, if you a hero, girl, you saved that girl's life. That's Wait. all anybody's been talking about. What? Yeah. Shit, oh, shit, Em, you famous, boy. Hey, I just need you to come down to the station and sign for your stuff. Um, I had your car towed to my cousin Manny's yard. And uh, you're going to have to answer some questions to the FBI because they want your side of this story, this crazy story. Mm. Mm. Yeah. A crazy story it is. I just feel sorry for little Dub though. Who? Nobody. Oh. Okay, well I'm gonna let you guys get back to your little hand party. I got these flowers for you, Cal. Oh damn! Oh, all right, Wayne. Well, yeah. thank you for my flowers. Of course, every girl deserves flowers. <laughs> hey, you get better, girl. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You did good, bro. Yeah. See you later. I right, see you. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Well, looks like uh, <laughs> ex hubby want his old boot thing back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, uh, we, we we did. We we decided to be that we better off just friends. Mark and I did too. Two of the good ones, huh? Oh, whatever. Hi, um, Miss Matthews. This is Ebony Howard. When would you like to meet to talk about your case? to break me had my head hang down i asked god to save me i said god please save me god please save me now from the pain the pain of the struggle turn this pain to the game of the hustle it's my job to find you head on god and then my plan to because i'm go to the church, a place where you could deliver yourself from the stress, the strain, the drama, and pain, or the suffering of life. See, only God really knows your true destiny, your true timeline of life. Many people try to go the wrong route, but you need to get back on track. Oh, God! And I'm going to get you there. Welcome to the church. Time to get that word. Let's go. Let's go. If your bill's taking over, on oh God, you never sober. You lost, you think you're sober. Let me take them to church, take them to church. Let me take them to church. Let me take them to church. Take them to church. Let me take them to church. Let me take them to church. Your bills past due. You going nuts, blue screws. Need to hear some good news. Cause he tired of hearing bad news. Down to your last few. Just put 
with your last two. I'm pumped too. For some gas, I know it's hard not to act the fool, but you still gotta get to working. Still gotta get it in. Train got make it working. Bring you some money in. The kids still gotta eat. Got three miles to feed. Just keep faith and go at God's speed. Oh God. If your bill's taking over, yeah. oh God, you never sober. Yeah. You lost, you think you're sober. Yeah. Let me take from the church, take from the church. Oh. Let me take from the church, let me take from the church, take from the church. Oh. Let me take from the church, let me take from the church. You ain't never been sober, uh-huh. and they think they know no. you. You want to go ahead, show them, bless this poor oh Just gotta have faith, keep going. Yeah. Well, you better thank him for it. Your own time, God, you can't ignore it. Who just pray, wait for it. Uh. God gon' bless, you know it. Uh. Watch God make something happen. Got about action, he ain't capping, he know for it happen. He gon' bless you, he won't stress you, he just what you lacking. Pay attention, focus on God and stop being savage. Stop being ratchet. If your bill's taking over, oh God, you never sober. You lost, you think you're sober. Let me take from the church, take from the church. Let me take from the church, let me take from the church, take from the church. Let me take from the church, let me take from the church. When you know you need new directions in life. Look at me, I'm God shining light. Show you how to turn wrongs into rights. Protect your soul and endure the fight. Allowing God to take the lead. Cleanse your soul, set you free. Get to the church, be on your way. Bow your hands and let us pray. As we stand here before you in the church, ending the stress and strain, the pain which always looks. God, we need you as we walk amongst the earth in which we rose from the dust. Father, watch over us. Oh, God. If your bill's taking over, oh, God, you never sober. You lost, you think you're sober. Let me take from the church, take from the church. Let me take from the church. Let me take from the church, take from the church. Let me take from the church. Let me take from the church. Thank you.